Procoin has been on an absolute tear over the past month, up 183%. And in today's episode of the Everything Crypto Show, we're going to be talking about some of the stuff that happened with this altcoin over the past week, including the third 50 million crow burn, which officially took place, further expansion of the Crypto.com Visa program, and more bullish news that could help push this altcoin to two-year highs. Now, before we hop into the content, just a friendly reminder that I am not a financial advisor, nor do I offer any sort of financial advice on YouTube. I am simply here for your crypto news and entertainment purposes. And if you do find the videos informative and entertaining, please consider hitting that sub and like button. And I appreciate all the support on the channel. You guys are absolutely amazing. So without further ado, we are going to get into today's altcoin of discussion, and that is going to be Crowcoin. Generally, I do a market update at the beginning of videos, but we're not going to do that today because I do want to get right into the weekly recap, uh, something that did not happen specifically with Crow, but was huge for the crypto market as a whole, was Bitcoin hitting the $100,000 mark for the first time. So we saw a lot of altcoins start to rally as Bitcoin crossed 100K, and at the moment, as of the time of this recording crow is above a key area for the price action at that 20 cent level so at the tail end of this video i'm going to talk about what i'm looking for next when it comes in terms of the price uh but first i do want to just hop into the news so <clears throat> Uh, there's a lot to get through, and I want to start off with the third 50 million burn that took place this past week. So we have seen 50 million burns of this uh, of Crow actually take place every time the wallet does hit that threshold. The first one took place in December uh, of 2023. The second one took place July of 2024, and the third one took place on December 2nd, so earlier this week, bringing the total burned amount up to 150 million crow. Now, additionally, there is already another 31.7 million crow sitting in this wallet waiting to be burned, and once it passes that 50 million threshold, this crow will be burned to hit that 200 million milestone. Now, one thing that's important to know when it comes to these burns is that this is not the same burn that was discussed in the Kronos roadmap. These burns have been taking place since December of 2023, and it's basically scheduled to take place or for a proposal to take place and for a vote to happen every time it passes that 50 million threshold. This is not the burn that was announced in the roadmap. This quarterly burn formula will be in addition to the existing 50 million burns that are already taking place. And I am curious to hear more about just the details on this burn formula they say it's going to be based on price and block size and i do hope to see some some bigger burns take place for crow while it is nice to see these burns at the end of the day we're talking about an altcoin with a supply north of 25.657 billion in circulation and uh you know 50 million burns taking place on average every six months every half a year i don't really think it's going to have too big of an impact so i would like to see some bigger burns take place i do look forward to hearing and kind of seeing more details surrounding this quarterly burn formula uh, it does sound similar to the bnb burn mechanism i don't know what it will actually look like in terms of the quantity of the burns but you know for example bnb started off with a total supply of 200 million and they have a goal of shrinking the supply down to 100 million through these burns currently sitting at 144 million bnb so that's about 25 percent of the initial 200 mil that has already been burned and i would like to see some bigger burns for crow in the future as well i do think it will really help in terms of the price uh, and just you know making the crow that is still on the markets more scarce so the next piece of news I do want to hop into here is regarding the crypto.com visa program. Now I've spoken about the visas a lot on the channel because this is a crypto.com product that not only incentivizes people to buy Crow, but to also keep it locked up to continue receiving the benefits associated with the different tiers for this card. 
and I've, I've spoken about this on the channel as well how you know crypto.com has been growing a ton they've been smashing records in terms of monthly exchange volume but that does not mean that the price of crow has to go up as crypto.com is growing the only way and and one of the ways that crypto.com can encourage more cor more correlation between the growth of their platform and the growth of crow is to incentivize users of the platform to own crow to get uh, to basically get access to a variety of benefits on the platform and the crypto.com visa is, is the best product they have for that in my opinion as you actually have to purchase and lock up a certain amount of crow for a one year period to get this visa and then after the year is done if you want to unstake your crow you can do so but you lose pretty much all of the benefits that come with the cards so not only incentivizing people to buy crow but also to keep it locked up to continue receiving the benefits that these visas offer and in my opinion this is one of if not the best crypto visas that is offered in a ton of different regions around the world and it looks like crypto.com is is really just trying to continue offering this card in as many regions as possible as they did announce this past week that the, the crypto.com card is now available in the gcc so effectively just continuing the expansion of this visa and the more people that buy the visa and lock up their crow i do see it as bullish for the altcoin because it is in there for a year and uh, and yeah once the year lockup period is done once again you can unstake but if you do so you lose pretty much all the benefits and that's why i really like this product in terms of uh in terms of just you know the correlation between the growth of crypto.com and further expansion of their visas and and what it means for crow itself so uh yeah we did see that expansion for the visa program which was on their roadmap right here if we go down to cards a lot in america middle east and africa debit card expansion so nice to see that they are are you know really just like uh going by this roadmap and and crossing some things off here that they did put on the roadmap a level up launch i believe came you know pretty much the day after the roadmap was announced we can see now they are starting that expansion and there are a few other things on the roadmap that i am really hoping to see come in you know at the time that they're listed um so the crypto.com stable coin i would be curious to see what that means for the chronos chain which obviously is powered by crow coin and a potential chronos etf submission so i do really hope that crypto.com is able to execute on some of these things um but so far for the goals they have set in q4 i mean the level up launch the web app they they did launch as well um chronos ai dev tools i did i did talk about that briefly but i haven't looked into it too much since then and yeah the debit card expansion so nice to see that crypto.com is you know taking a look at their roadmap and trying to get these things done in the time that they had listed now something else i do want to talk about is how this past week crypto.com also announced a limited time offer to receive 20 percent per annum on your crow so effectively you can stake your crow in a one year fixed term and receive 20 percent staking yield on this crow this is much higher than what is currently being offered on the chronos pos chain which comes in at like seven and a half percent if i'm not mistaken the catch is of course that you have to lock it up for one year meaning that if you were to do it you know anytime uh, this week today whenever you were choosing to do so you wouldn't get it back until december of 2025 personally it's not something i'll be doing but i do think it's just another way that crypto.com is looking to incentivize people uh, to lock up their crow for that yield so pretty cool to see that right there and the last thing i do want to talk about here um, is the crypto baskets that crypto.com released so uh, this is kind of similar in my opinion to like the coinbase top 50 etf not exactly the same basically they're offering a ton of different crypto baskets which pretty much gives you exposure um, think of it as an etf basically etfs for different uh different crypto assets so bitcoin eth duo two largest coins by market cap bitcoin and eth the trio bitcoin eth and crow um the big three so the three largest non-stable coins by market cap bitcoin eth and soul um so they obviously did this or i'm assuming they did, they did this before xrp flipped soul um top 10 so 10 largest coins by market cap according to coin market cap solana popular coins in the solana ecosystem uh, i think it's like solana Chainlink, render bonk and with if i'm not mistaken um ethereum ecosystem basket chronos ecosystem basket meme basket rwa um real world assets ai dpin and gamefi so pretty cool to see crypto.com launching this and um 
yeah, I really do. I really do see crypto.com. And one of the things I like about the company is how they are just continuously trying to offer new products while making it easy and simple to onboard the next wave of crypto users. Once again, the one thing I really hope to see is them just focus more on how they can also get these new users to get involved in Crow specifically and the Kronos ecosystem. Now to wrap things up, I do want to take a look at the price action for Crow. So we're going to go ahead and hop over to the chart here as it is currently sitting at the 20 cent level as of the time of this recording so let's go ahead and take a look at a year-to-date basis take a look at a log scale <clears throat> uh, let me zoom out here for you guys let's do five years yeah okay here we go so i'm really looking at this 20 cent level for crow okay i do think it is a key area of resistance on the chart we can see here back in 2021 it acted as some support uh broke down bounced off the 10 cent level came back up here later in 2021 got rejected and then it finally broke above it and went on that run up to all-time highs at 96 cents this was coinciding with you know crypto.com getting the naming rights to the staple arena to make it the crypto.com arena so we saw this huge run from crow it topped out at just under a dollar hitting about 96 cents at its peak if i'm not mistaken and then on the way down we can see here in the bear market year that crow actually did try to get above 20 cents here got rejected and then yeah it fell 50 percent from there down to 10 cents then we saw the collapse of ftx a lot of fud targeted at crypto.com and then crow proceeded to fall another 50 percent down to the five cent zone <clears throat> now if you've been with the channel for a while um, you know, we were talking about Crow being a steal at the five cent region. I thought a lot of the FUD towards crypto.com was unwarranted, and that did end up being the case as they have continued to grow throughout the, the bear market and moving into the bull market. And the first key level I was looking for, for Crow to take out was the 10 cent zone, which did act as some resistance here in late December uh, of last year, early January of this year. Then we saw a break above, almost get up to 20 cents, but not quite, came back down below 10 cents, and then boom. We saw it start to rally here in early November, broke above the 10 cent zone, and we can see here on the weekly candles that um, it did actually try to break above on the week starting in Monday, November 11th. It was not able to get above it here. Um, it wasn't able to do it the next week as well. And right here on this weekly candle, once again, we see it came up to about 23 and a half cents and is currently sitting right at that level of support. So if Crow does not manage to stay above 20 cents, the first level I am looking for to act as some support would be that local top back in March at about 18 and a half cents and below that I would be looking closer to the 15 cent level as an area of support 15 and a half cents actually and then to the upside if crow is able to break above the 20 cent zone close a weekly candle above it and continue to the upside what i would be looking for and and i'm really just not seeing much resistance on this chart up until about the 37 and a half cent level okay 38 cents there so looking on higher time frames if we are able to stay above 20 cents that would be my next target for crow at about 37 and a half to 38 cents so on that note i hope you all enjoyed the content in today's video i hope you are all staying happy safe and healthy and i hope to catch you in the next one peace out for now